longer. As a matter of, matter of fact, this is the last weekend you can visit with dinosaurs alive at the Imagination Station. Jeff Stevenson, more information about that exhibit and a hot experiment this morning. Jeff, good morning. Good morning to you too, Chris. This is a hot experiment because we are doing a thermite reaction today. Okay. I, um, but it, we're gonna. We're gonna does this have to do with dinosaurs? Um, are you gonna try to connect it? it? it, it, it we'll try. We'll All try. Right, we'll try. try. We'll try. Safety okay. here. Yes. Yeah, so okay, we're gonna put I... a pair of goggles on. You don't need the face shield quite yet because um, we're gonna. I'm getting a little aggressive. No, here. no, that's okay. Because well, we're gonna do a micro thermite reaction okay. first. So I'm just gonna give you. Uh, feel, first of all, I have some, some cannonballs here. Feel how heavy those are. Ooh, a couple pounds. Yeah. Pound or two. Yeah, definitely has some weight to it, right? So you know, cast iron cannonball. And what I'm gonna have you do is, can you hold this piece of paper up with just one finger? Okay. Like that. All right. And I have a second cannonball, and this is kind of like if you were to run these two iron spheres together, you would. You could actually have enough pressure and enough force of the mass of those two iron spheres hitting each other that you can cause a little combustion reaction right there in your hand, which really? is kind of cool. That's a nice little micro, but we're gonna, we're gonna bump it up a little bit. Okay. Um, because what I wanna do is I wanna wrap these cannonballs in some aluminum foil. So I'm gonna give you some aluminum foil and you can wrap your cannonball. Okay. All right, and you wanna make it nice and smooth on one end. And I'll wrap mine here. So instead of igniting some paper, what we're gonna do is we're gonna ignite some aluminum. And the aluminum and the iron are gonna have an interesting reaction. So I'll give you one of these. Okay. And how it's gonna work, and you kinda wanna hold it like this. Okay. And we're gonna just do it very hard, and you're gonna strike against the aluminum as if you're coming down. And take okay. a little step back, just a little step back. Oh. All right, here we go. One, two, three. There you go, Ooh. that's a good one. So it takes a little practice, but you are able. Very cool. That's very. That's good. That's a good one right all there. Right. All right. All right. I'll take it. Yeah, it smells like uh, you know, when you were a kid and you used to shoot the cap guns. Yes. It, that, it, it, it has that smell to it. It's always reminded me of that as well. It's only good. if we had smell of vision. If only you had smell. I just, yeah, I just thought I'd share that with you. Um, but yeah, that's a really cool micro version of thermite reaction where that iron and that aluminum are combining. And if you look at the spheres, they actually have aluminum being welded oh. onto them. Wow. So that, that's how that's how intense this reaction is. The aluminum is being welded right onto my iron sphere here. Just due to the quick contact and quit uh, the contact blow that you had from the, the the impact that's the ignition we need to get the reaction the thermite okay. reaction happening all right so um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of set up this in like a bigger scale okay okay so um, I, I have some flower pots here and there's kind of a hole in the bottom right as you can see and I'm gonna set it down right here and I'm gonna tighten it and if you could take that piece of cardboard okay and just kind of shove it into there so it's covering the so hole cover that hole okay. yeah we need that hole covered Okay, and then we're gonna put another pot on top of that. So this is kind of a, a weird device that we're making here for our thermite reaction. Okay. Okay, and then the final ingredient, okay, is going to be this thermite. Before we break it out, we're gonna put our face mask on. All right, okay. and what is in here while we're doing that? Um, it is a mixture of iron oxide and aluminum shavings. Okay. Okay, so it's similar to the iron cannonball and the aluminum foil. All right. So it's gonna be a very similar reaction. Very so, tiny particles of it though. Very tiny particles of it. So. Um, if you want to take that and pour it into here, that would be great. Don't worry, it won't do anything yet. <laughs> okay, so that's kind of, this is a big version of what we're doing here. And so what I'm going to do to get it started, instead of having that big mass of the two cannonballs be our ignition source, instead, we are going to use a sparkler. And what we're going to have is we are going to make this iron into a molten iron. So okay. this is going to be in excess of 4,000 degrees. It's going to be a very hot experiment. So as soon as I stick this in, we're, we're gonna wanna step back, Chris, okay? All right, fair enough. You All need right. me to, to I, light I need, you, I need you to light it, okay? okay? Are you ready? So this is my mega sparkler, that's gonna be my ignition source. We're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna put it right into the thermite reaction, and we're gonna take a big step back because it is going to go ahead and it's gonna burn through that cardboard and it's gonna create some molten iron that is actually dripping onto some sand I have at the bottom. The sand makes a great insulator because this is so hot you can see some of that molten iron is still dripping onto it. That um, if I didn't have that sand there, it would melt through my pie pan, through the tray, probably through your table. This is a very, very hot experiment in excess of 4,000 degrees. Wow. Very cool, right? Now, oh, yeah, we still, we still have a few things dripping there. Still a few <laughs> things dripping. All right, it seems to have calmed down. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can't approach this molten rock here, and I'm going to kind of scoop it from underneath the sand and see if we can't get a good view of it here. Now I want to be careful here because this could still be liquid on the inside, so squeezing it would not be a good idea. But we do have a molten piece of 
iron that we've kind of made here out of the iron oxide and aluminum reaction. This is a thermite reaction. They use it in, um, uh, the most common place they use this reaction is probably railroad tracks. When they have the big uh, strips of track they have to connect to each other, uh, instead of having a seam where they would normally weld it, they would uh, do this type of reaction in like a ceramic bowl okay. around the track so you don't feel big th -th 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 every time you change a rail. It's a nice smooth experience. So this is one way of welding it. Sometimes they do it for underwater welding, like for connecting cables underwater. Gotcha. So th a lot of cool science applications happening um, with this type of reaction and it's just really fun to watch. So at the Imagination Station, you guys are always doing the science experiments. Uh, last weekend though to see the dinosaurs. Yes, this last weekend, last to see the dinosaurs. Check it out, Dinosaurs Alive. All right, hot experiment as promised, we delivered. Stay with us, we have more W211, your day in just a moment. Pretty cool.